Jesus told this parable in Luke 14. Anyone who does not carry his own cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Let's say some guy really wants to build a tower. Now you might be wondering, why would he want to build a tower? I mean, who wouldn't want to build their very own tower? Come on, right? I mean, don't you think this guy is going to sit down and see if he has all that he needs to finish it? Especially the cash. Because if he pours a foundation, builds the base, and constructs half of it, and then runs out of money and supplies, that would be dumb. And everyone would drive by this dude's tower and be like, hey dummy, you know what you should have done before you built that tower? You should have counted out the cost before you even started. I hate it when people point out stuff that makes perfect sense. Or what if a king was about to go to war with another king? Wouldn't he first sit down and figure out if his army of 10,000 could beat the other guy's army of 20,000? If not, the dude better sit that one out or he'd get owned. In the same way, any of us who don't count the cost and give up everything can't really be called a disciple of his. Jesus said salt is good, but if it doesn't taste like salt, then it's lost its worth. It wouldn't even be fit for the soil or a pile of manure. So he who has ears, listen up. Ha, Jesus just said poop. <laughs>